Greetings, my name is Rashid al Yahyai from the Department of Plant Sciences at Sultan Qaboos University. I will be speaking about grown altitude influence fruit quality of pomegranates, a case study of Hello cultivar from Oman. And this work is part of my postgraduate students, Dr. Basim al Kalbani's research work. Oman is located in the Middle East and it is a semi-arid climate with low precipitation and high temperature that can reach over 50 degrees Celsius in the summer. There is a limited arable land and water resources and also there is a diverse climate and topography in the Sultanate that affects the type of crops we grow. This is a map of Oman and the kind of topographic distribution or variations in the country. In the northern part, there are mountains called the Hajar Mountains. There is the Western Hajar and there is the Eastern Hajar Mountain that are big in about 10,000 feet or about 3,000 meters. In the south, there is the Dufar Mountains as well. And so these are the regions that are characterized by cultivation of temperate or deciduous fruit crops. However, date palm occupies about 58% of all cultivated crops in the country. Other main crops include banana, mango, and lime. These kind of deciduous fruit crops include pomegranates, apricot, peach, walnut, and palm fruits are mainly or primarily cultivated in small mountain oases in these mountains, as you can see here in these pictures. The total number of pomegranate trees around 26,000 trees in the largest area cultivated as a collection and this is the data from 2012 up to now there's uh, only about a thousand three more uh, in the official records of the Ministry of Agriculture. Pomegranate produce about 35 3.5 million Omani Riyas, which is very important in the economy of these small mountain oases. The most important cultivar is called Hello, and that occupies about 98% of all cultivars grown in Oman. There is a variation in the climate and topography that may affect the cultivation of a wide range of fruit crops all over Oman, so the distribution of the tropical, subtropical, and also temperate fruit crops is largely affected by the cultivation altitude or the area that are being cultivated. We are all aware of the global warming and its impact on the marginal mountainous land and there are several studies in this regard and there are also several models that we have presented in Oman and overall there is a shift in temperature over time that we all know will affect deciduous fruit crops because it will directly impact the chilling requirements of the existing fruit cultivars and this is the main goal that we have which is study the effect of growing pomegranates and these different altitudes because those different altitudes will have different climatic conditions at least in terms of temperature on the fruit physical and chemical quality of what we selected the most common halo cultivar in Oman. So this is a look at where the deciduous fruit crops and the types of crops that are cultivated in Oman. Further data is another publication that is listed at the end of this presentation. The crops that are currently cultivated include almond, apple, apricot, berry, uh, the wild boot plant, grapes, olives, peach, pear, and walnuts. As you can see, the distribution map is directly linked to the mountainous region of Oman. Pomegranate is the most important fruit crop, as I mentioned before, and this is where it is primarily cultivated, mainly in the northern, east, west, eastern, and western Hajar Mountains. It is also cultivated in other regions, as you can see here, but this is primarily for ornamental purposes. But the main crops here are 
where these pomegranates are cultivated. This study has been done on uh, in three locations with varying altitude. The first location is called Seek, which is the highest. That's where most of the pomegranates are present. And this is located at about 2,019 meters. Below that, there's a region called Sogra here. It's about 1876. And the lowest is Wakan, 1540 meter above sea level. So the range of cultivation of pomegranates in these mountains extend from the north, uh, from the highest, which is 2,019 meters, to its lowest in Wakan, which is 15, uh, 1,540 meters above sea level. And between that, we found a small village that also cultivates pomegranates of this particular cultivar. And we included that in this study, as you can see here in the map, even though these villages are in different altitudes, they are technically um, located in the same mountain. So uh, basically what we did is we investigated fruit color, fruit physical qualities, and also fruit chemical qualities. And uh, we wanted to see what happens if the temperature ri has risen over time and this is represented by, for example, here we have Sirk, that's where the highest altitude, where the temperature is the lowest, and the uh, requirement of chilling is satisfied. As you go low, you can see now the color of the fruit has already changed, and also there is um, a change in the color of the arils as well. As you go lower than that, you hardly see red arils in this particular cultivar, hello cultivar. Um, and also, you, this is the lowest, and you can also see that the skin color is also the same thing. So we can already see certain morphological changes due to the cultivation altitude, which we think is a direct impact of the change in temperature at these three different altitudes. This is uh, the data for fruit color. We looked at the lightness or brightness. And you can see that um, the Jabal Akhbar, which is the highest, upper, uh, highest mo or the highest altitude, and Wakan is the lowest altitude. And we can see that the color or brightness is lower because it's a mix of red and white or green fruit skin here, and also the seeds are red. So the range in temperature or lightness or whiteness is is uh, the lowest. Let's look at the red color here. It's supposed to be green and this one's supposed to be red. But in the case, because this is the A, as you can see in uh, lab colors, A indicates redness to greenness. If the data is minus, then the, the, the color is red. If the, the data is in A is minus, then it is green. So you can see that in the highest mountain, Jabal Akhdar in Sirk, this has all red fruits and also red arils or red seeds. Okay, so that indicates a good quality fruit without compromising the uh, color red. You can see it's all red. Here, when you go lower in altitude, not much lower, about 200 to 300 meters only, that already has a great impact on the seed or aril color. You can see here the color of the seeds has already been reduced. That means there's a mix of white and red, but the color of the um, of the fruit has remained, of the skin of the fruit has remained uh, yellowish to greenish. Same thing here goes for Wakan, which is the lowest altitude. You can see the intensity of the green color is much higher, as well as the color of the seeds has not developed to become red. So we can already see that the skin color and the aril color has already been affected by growing these fruits at varying altitudes. The yellowness also, the yellowness indicates the background of the fruit, which is the lowest in the highest altitude, GA means Jabal Akhdar at the top. And we can see also that same thing applies to the seeds, except for the yellowness, there is no significant difference between the data. However, between the fruit skin, you can see as you go lower in altitude, 
you can see more of the yellowness more of the greenness of the skin color so there is a lack of development of the fruit if you look at the data collectively with an index like ap squared ap then you can see that the best fruit color was attained at ga which is the highest altitude for both the skin color and also for the seed color If we look at chroma, which is purity of color, we can see also differences in the fruit skin color. And that the W lowest was all white, so it has a pure color. There's less of a chroma there, but compared to the highest altitude, which has a mix of, you know, large, there's a larger proportion of red color of the fruit. Same thing applies to hue values. And so we can actually use all of these indicators that combines both the red, the A, and the B in the uh, Psi lab colors to study the effect of temperature based on altitude on the fruit, skin, and RL colors. And we can see that the fruit color has very great impact on, um, is affected by, by altitude. Next, we look at the fruit qualities, mainly interested in fruit weight. And you can see in this particular cultivar, as we go lower in altitude, as we grow this particular cultivar lower in altitude, we can see the fresh weight is going down. Also, the fruit diameter, the size of the fruit is going down, as well as the weight of the rind, the skin weight, and all the parameters, including fruit, um, fruit uh, length without the calyx also is going down so the diameter the length the dimensions of the fruit and the weight all of them are going down that means the highest fruit weight and size is attained at the highest altitude if we look at seed quality the same thing applies if we look at the aerial weight it goes um, down significantly as we lower the altitude same thing applies to juice volume as well as aerial size the same thing applies to total soluble solids. Tetrabole acidity is not significantly um, affected much, but because of the high sweetness to, uh, to acidity, it has a great impact on taste. And so we can see that growing at high altitude not only gives you higher uh, fruit weight, but also higher uh, or better um, chemical characteristics of the fruit. So in summary, Hello cultivar perform better in Sikh or Jabal Akhdar at the top, the highest altitude compared to going below um, at mid altitude or lower altitude in terms of color development as well as in fruit physical and chemical uh, parameters. Also the same thing applies to the RL physical and chemical characteristics. So color fruit and, physic and fruit. Seed and physical and chemical qualities are all indicators that can be used to assess pomegranate adaptation to certain altitudes and associated climatic conditions. Finally, we recommend the following. The effect of microclimate, which is mainly temperature and humidity on the quality of pomegranate cultivar, needs to be studied further with a wide range of cultivars to determine which one best suited for these um these uh, small mountain oases in the mountain marginal cultivation areas such as the one exist in oman also we need to look further into breeding and assessing pomegranate cultivars that has low chilling requirement and produce quality fruit this has been done on other uh, deciduous fruit crops such as peach and apricots finally global warming may affect the yield and quality of pomegranates which necessitate immediate adaptation mechanism to be implemented in Oman and also in other regions that cultivate these kind of crops in these marginal lands. That's it. Thank you very much for your listening and I will leave you with the final slide of the publication we had regarding this research work. Thank you and I wish you a very good conference. Goodbye.